Welcome back to the Morning Blend, everybody. Calling all wine lovers because next month, the Lake Geneva Festival of Wine will bring together everyone from social drinkers to sommeliers. And here with details of the big weekend is Courtney Nobilio from the Grand Geneva Resort and Spa. What an exciting thing you have going on next month. And it's fun to talk about this. Um, Amy's actually on standby right now with Michael Sawin. He is the executive chef at Grand Geneva, along with the wine expert we have today, Pete Donahue. In just a minute, Amy's going to show us some amazing food and wine pairings but first we're going to chat with Courtney a little bit about this great festival great to see you yeah we are so excited about this event coming up so. it is really neat so it's going on it's a full weekend of events April 8th 9th and 10th so people can put it on their cal uh, calendars it's a Friday Saturday Sunday and this is the first time you've done this festival right it sure is um, it is at the resort so just a short drive away in Lake Geneva from Milwaukee we are welcoming everybody from casual wine drinkers like myself to people with a more sophisticated palate. We have over 100 wines that are going to be at our main event, which is the Grand Tasting on Saturday, April 9th from 2 to 5. Or we have things going on the whole weekend as well. That is so neat. And I know you're doing packages too, so people can come for the day if they want to just stop by and sample some of the great food and wine pairings and be there for, make a day out of it, a day trip. Or people can take advantage of some of the packages you have going on and make a whole weekend out of it, stay overnight. Yeah, I definitely recommend the weekend package. We have things going on indoors and out from our yoga and mimosa session in the morning or an outdoor guided hike. We have brunches and seminars to choose from, chef demonstrations, and even paint and sip classes as well. Oh, I've done that before, a <laughs> yeah. paint and sip. That's really cool. <laughs> it, uh, anybody can be an artist at those because they're led by somebody who really knows what they're doing. So it's fun to see what people can create. Yes. That's really neat. Um, so in terms of getting tickets then, what do you recommend? Uh, go to LakeGenevaFestivalOfWine.com. You can see the whole agenda for the whole weekend. A $75 ticket for the grand tasting, or you can see the different packages that we're offering as well. That's wonderful. And it looks like you, or it sounds like you have things planned throughout the whole day so that people are able to, to spend a little time and plan ahead. They can really take advantage of a lot of different things. Oh, absolutely. And you can't miss one of our wine dinners. So we have three wine dinners going on on the Friday night. More intimate wine dinners at our premier restaurants, and then a larger, um, our featured wine dinner on Saturday night in Restaurante Brasago as well. It's a great idea to visit the website to find out more. We're going to give details about that again, the website that you just mentioned. But now we're going to head over to Amy because we have to see some of these fun pairings, a little bit, a little taste of what people can experience if they visit the festival in April. So what do you have, Amy? Well, I'm sorry, Molly, but somebody had to do this. Very <laughs> I have the executive chef from Grand Geneva Resorts, Michael Thank Sullivan. You. Thanks for being with us. And Pete Donahue is going to talk about the wine. Let's start with um, the pairings that you've selected. So one of the dishes we're going to feature at one of the cooking demos is a uh, Anson Mills uh, Carolina Shrimp and Grits. So it's a classic southern dish. Um, we've taken the grits, which are not your normal white grits, but they're kind of like a rice. Um, added some saffron to it, some Parmesan cheese, um, made it into the grits, and then we use jumbo shrimp. So these are six to eight per pound. So that's a nice size shrimp. Those are gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I'd like to eat one right now, but it's breakfast, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, red pepper jelly and some fried kale. And then Pete's got a little wine to pair with that, and he'll explain that. Sure can. So with all the flavors that are going on the plate, we've uh, paired it up with the uh, Robert Mondavi Fumé Blanc. Um, 50 years ago when Mr. Mondavi uh, created the Robert Mondavi Winery, um, he wanted to make a distinctive and distinguished um, Sauvignon Blanc that was dry. And at the time, Sauvignon Blancs were very sweet. Um, and although we know them today and they're very popular as a dry wine, um, he really wanted to make his distinctive, so he named it Fumé Blanc and made it synonymous with Sauvignon Blanc. All of those flavors, when you have that combination of different things, the richness of the grits and the, the shrimp, perfect uh, match with that, cuts through all of the richness and just pairs it up. And this you can try, though, if you want to so, try a little so bit of that. So will people be tasting um, at the <coughs> demonstrations? Will, will they be tasting at the seminar? What will they be doing? And I'll taste now. We'll have some uh, different seminars throughout the day on Saturday. There's uh, a lot of vendors that are going to be there, so they'll have different tastings of different wines. Um, we're also going to have an Iron Chef competition with uh, um, our Pro Start kids. So our Pro Start team that we sponsored from Wilmont took second place this year at, at the uh, in Milwaukee. So they're going to do a competition, Iron Chef competition, but there will be wine tastings all through that. We have the three wine dinners on Friday. Um, so Brasago, Chop House, Grand Cafe are all going to feature one. And then Saturday we're trying to sell out or Brasago restaurant with one wine dinner for 80 people. So. so, so is there a tip that we need for wine tasting? Is there something important to remember? Yeah, the, the most important tip is to relax and enjoy. I mean, uh, 
it's, uh, festivals like this are a great opportunity. I think a lot of people are interested in wine, but you go to a wine shop and there's so many bottles and it's hard to decide what, and you usually wind up picking your favorite one because you know you're gonna enjoy it. So this is a great opportunity to try lots of different wines, see how they pair with food, um, and just relax and enjoy it. It's not, it's not snobby, it's not uppity, it's just it's something to be comfortable fun and, and enjoyable, right. absolutely. You wanna yeah. tell me about this dish too, Sean? Yeah, so one of the things that, uh, this is a sea bass, Chilean sea bass. We pair it with a sun-dried tapenade, a lemon beurre blanc, um, and then sautéed spinach. But one of the things that Pete did was he paired it with a Pinot Noir. So Pete, you want to tell about the pairing? And it's, most of the time you see fish with white wine, so. Yep, and, and that's sort of, you know, the old rule of white wine, fish, that, that sort of thing. And really, you really want to think about when you're enjoying food and wine, is to think about all the flavors on the plate, rather than simply focusing on whether the protein is meat or fish or chicken. Am I supposed um, to swirl? You can swirl. Do you I can just to? drink. Yeah, actually, what I would just just drink. Just okay, just don't try to be cool. Yeah, don't. <laughs> you can if you want to, but it's you might happening. you might make a mess, and that's mm -hmm. always one of those. Mm -hmm. So, what you have on this plate, you have all sorts of richness. Although it is a white fish, it's a nice, rich white fish. There's tomatoes on the plate. There's lemon in the sauce. Oh, so, so there's delicious. lots of different things. So that wine with all of their rich flavors on there, it just it knocks that's it out of the park. That's gorgeous wine. I love that. And let's right. do quickly this last one. So to finish out our day, I'm I'm a chocoholic. No, oh, so all right. I, I like chocolate. I Man like bananas. Um, and then there's a hazelnut brittle. So this is a triple layer, uh, red velvet, chocolate, and there's mousse in there yeah. um, with a pomegranate sauce and then a caramelized banana and then edible gold leaf. That's so beautiful. gold is actually edible, believe it or not. That's fantastic. I love how you made this banana look awesome. Everything I do look, comes out completely weird looking, but yours is gorgeous. <laughs> well, you know, as my wife says, you know, you can cook, but you can't clean. So you know. <laughs> It's a match made in heaven. Thank you, it gentlemen, is. so much. Thank Michael pleasure. and Pete, we really appreciate it. What a beautiful presentation. Looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it, Molly? It does. I was just saying to Courtney, I got to check my calendar because I would love to go to this event. It sounds like there's so many great things going on in the food looks absolutely delicious. Thanks to all of you for showing us those dishes. I didn't know gold was edible. That is surprising. Yes, so here's cool. <laughs> that is it. cool. Here's the information so that you can visit. Put it on your calendar. It's April 8th, 9th, and 10th. So it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday going on next month. It is the Lake Geneva Festival of Wine at Grand Geneva. You can find out about all the fun things going on, all the tastings, the dinners, the yoga and mimosa, the paint and sip. How fun is that? Um, go to their website, see all of that. You can find out more about ticket packages too if you'd like to stay overnight. The toll free number is 800-558-3417. Again, the website, lakegenevafestivalofwine.com. Thank you so much, everybody.